Here are 14 ways to make your copy more engaging, more magnetic, more powerful, more persuasive. Years ago, I listened to an audio program way back when, when it was cassettes. It was called Mentored by a Millionaire by Stephen K. Scott. And Stephen K. Scott was the man that was responsible for lots of different infomercials that were really profitable. He did the infomercial with Chuck Norris and Christy Brinkley for a piece of fitness kit. And on that program, he came up with a wonderful expression, which was this. He said, most people say you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. He then went on to say, I can make it drink every single time. And he paused and said, all I have to do is put enough salt in the oats. And in copywriting terms, in communication terms, salt in the oats is curiosity. And when we look at what's called in copywriting blind bullets and subheads, but blind bullets particularly for today, that's where the curiosity, where the salt comes into play. Now, I've got lists of loads of different blind bullets, and I've got a few to share with you, 14 of them today. And I split them into three different categories. There's numbers, names, and what's missing. And I've got them written down here on my notes, so I want to share them with you now. So the first types of blind bullets that makes our copy more engaging are numbers. So here are some examples of things I've used and collected over all the years. The two-stage process that gets more customers to buy more of what you have to sell. That too, because you don't know what it is, is the blind bullet. It's the salt. Three questions you must answer about your business. Most people only use two of the four golden questions of business and leave a fortune in profits lying on the table. The 19 power words you must use at the start of every business conversation. The seven factors of your personal brand that separate you from this crowd and make you the supplier of choice. 21 sources you can approach for personal introductions to warm contacts waiting to take your call. Now, I don't know about you, but if I'd read some of those and I believe the writer, because that's important, whoever was crafting those words, if I believe them, certainly I would be interested in whatever it was that they had to sell that those blind bullets were describing. We can use names as well as numbers. Here's some ideas on that. The most important piece of paper in your business, and it's not your diploma or your mission statement, the yard method of truly unstoppable persuasion. The carpet fitters technique. Using this, you'll know precisely what to do to get the results you want, and you'll avoid putting things off. The two-stage device only known by highly skilled and persuasive communicators that lets you penetrate the subconscious mind of your customer and have them accept what you say without question. The fish salesman's question. Answering the door well, one afternoon, I was met by a door-to-door -door salesman and he asked me a question that made my jaw drop in amazement and respect. And I ended up spending with him a long time ago, 368 pounds buying his fish products just so I could question him in detail. You'll be surprised how simple and easy this is and how effective it is for your opening comments. Another section, what's missing? It's one piece of information that's not in the forefront of most business people's minds when talking to a customer, and it's not what you think. Features and benefits are only two parts of a three-stage process. A little-known communication device that translates what your customers say into what they really want to buy from you. So there are 14 different ideas that you can use, you can sprinkle them throughout your copy, and this works on video and in writing as well, to make what we say more engaging, to sprinkle that salt, as Stephen K. Scott called it, into our copy to keep people reading through till they get to the end and will be the call to action or the call to value. Now, I'm certain you can take this away and use it in all of your communications. And in the meantime, I wish you every success in all your adventures in life. If you've liked this video, there's plenty more of mine around and I'll see you there. From me, Peter Thompson, until the next time, goodbye for now.